Why did Anakin decide to drastically change his lightsaber after the duel on Geonosis? And why did he become utterly obsessed with its new design and the weapon in general? Greetings, Acolytes of the Force, and welcome back to the Archives. The very first duel Anakin had with Dooku undoubtedly changed him forever. He went into this interaction as a brash Padawan full of impatience and anger, attempting to prove himself and his worth to the Jedi. Anakin didn't take the Sith Lord seriously and completely overestimated his own abilities. After spending the entirety of the events of Attack of the Clones frustrated with how Obi-Wan and the rest of the Jedi were apparently holding him back, he saw this opportunity to finally prove them all incorrect. Unfortunately, he bit off far more than he could chew when he found himself blade to blade with the galaxy's premier duelist, equal to Grandmaster Yoda himself, a man that held no mercy for Anakin and found him unbearably arrogant. In that moment, Anakin had his arm severed from his body as he underwent a very specific kind of trauma not the kind that regressed him to a worse state, not necessarily, but actually a form of trauma that forced Skywalker to grow up and face a new reality. When the Clone Wars begins, Anakin has an entirely new demeanor about him, all of which is represented in his new and second lightsaber construction. And today, we are going to open a holocron and take a deep dive into how Anakin changed his lightsaber and what it meant for not only him as a duelist, but also as a Jedi. When Anakin first constructed his lightsaber, he continued following his own rebellious trend of separating himself from the rest of the Jedi. Just as he chose to wear darker robes with leather instead of light browns and the traditional tans of a Jedi, Anakin sought further to distinguish himself with his lightsaber design. It was customary for most Padawans to show respect to their masters by building their own lightsabers to loosely resemble that of their teacher. This is easily seen with Obi-Wan's lightsaber in relation to Qui-Gon's, but Anakin had taken a different path. Not that he didn't respect Obi-Wan as his master, but he didn't feel like following tradition. Anakin had just always felt like an outcast in the Jedi Order, so by now, he had the desire to embrace that black sheep reputation. Not to mention Kenobi's hilt design didn't exactly agree with Anakin's preferred style of combat which appeared more like a ceremonial blade, Anakin took heavy inspirations from his roots as a mechanic and made a purely functional lightsaber. He didn't focus too much on how it looked, only that it suited his purposes, sporting a shrouded emitter and more heavy-duty grade design which favored strength above all else. However, we talked about in a recent video how Anakin's first lightsaber was a weapon built from fear. In the Kyber Caves of Ilum, Anakin received terrifying visions of Maul, who had tossed him his weapon and challenged him to a duel. In a trance-like state, while Anakin was battling his vision of Maul of the Dark Side, he unknowingly constructed his lightsaber out of fear of loss and regret of not saving his mother, something that hadn't even happened yet. The same weapon would later go on to be used out of rage at losing his mother against the Tuscans that murdered her. Anakin had tiptoed around the creation of this weapon, which was subconsciously designed out of everything that held the young Jedi back. In all honesty, Anakin losing this lightsaber on Geonosis was probably very beneficial for him. But his second lightsaber, was it an upgrade? Functionally speaking, it absolutely was. But philosophically speaking, well, let's analyze the blade and the hilt. Following his humbling defeat by the hand of Darth Tyrannus, Anakin would become obsessed with lightsaber dueling. Before he was aware of lightsaber combat due to the recent interaction that Kenobi had with Maul, as a Padawan, Anakin spent countless hours training against the Jedi Temple training droid, which was programmed by Obi-Wan to the Darth Maul simulation. So while he had a fascination with the combat art of the Jedi, he didn't make blade-to-blade -blade combat his primary focus until after he met Dooku. Before, he was using the traditional version of Form 5 Shien. This variant of the style emphasized stronger blows, but was still largely defensive, meant for multiple opponents, and primarily was geared for defense against blaster fire and not suited for dueling. This at the time did very well for Anakin's needs, as in the early years of the Jedi, he, alongside others, likely didn't expect to be crossing sabers with any other force wielders at all. And why wouldn't they? The Sith were believed to be extinct, or at least in hiding, and the only one they knew of was Dooku in the mysterious Darth Tyrannus, even though at the time, Dooku had not been publicly outed as a Sith. And all they knew was that this mysterious Sithius operated from the background. 
But Geonosis changed Anakin fundamentally forever, and he realized he would be having many interactions with Dooku. And now, he desired revenge for the loss of his arm. This was massively impactful for both men. Two prodigies with the lightsaber now had a legitimate rival, and Skywalker would make Dooku pay for the flesh that he stole from him. Anakin was obsessed with lightsaber combat to the point of entirely switching his style to the variant of Form 5 Gem So, a form entirely focused on the art of dueling. To supplement this, Anakin found his original lightsaber design to be lacking, and made his new hilt even thicker and heavier than it once was, in order to ensure that his blows would be stronger. He also decided to make the ridges on the bottom wider and more pronounced to provide him with a better two-handed grip. Gemso demanded that the user have a firm hold on their saber, so these changes were absolutely necessary. Not to mention, with Anakin's new cybernetic hand, he needed a wider grip to keep a proper hold on his weapon. The changes were necessary for Gemso to be operated perfectly. And as a side note, this is also a challenge that Vader would run into, making his Sith hilt even larger than Skywalker's second blade. It's not often spoken about how important the thickness of a lightsaber hilt truly was. Obi-Wan was a master of Sarisu, and his hilt needed to be made slimmer so that it could glide through spins much easier. With Anakin's larger handle, it allowed him to really get a good brace on it for defense, and even better, leverage for attack. In addition, its girth and new ridges made it harder for him to be disarmed. Anakin also added in a few more bells and whistles to make his weapon more versatile. This came in the form of two knobs closer to the emitter, which allowed him to change the length of the power and the blade at will. Both he and Obi-Wan would also change the focusing crystal within their lightsabers, deciding to make the blade beams wider. This made blast deflection more easy, and for Anakin, the wider blades supplemented the strength of his power strikes even further. Every change was specifically meant to be in service of the purpose for which Anakin knew he was going to be using his lightsaber. The Clone Wars had began, and like it or not, the Jedi were on the front lines. Anakin adopted his position as a general with eagerness, and these lightsaber modifications were geared entirely for the art of war. This was an aspect about all Jedi's lightsabers that were being made in this era, which greatly upset Master Yoda, specifically Anakin's design. They were made for the purpose of killing and dismantling, but not just the fact that the Jedi were building their lightsabers for combat, but that the Chosen One specifically was what Yoda was distressing over. The weapon of the Jedi was meant to protect and serve. It was a symbol of self-sacrifice and humility, while also great authority and responsibility. But now the weapon was being used for attack and conquest. Yoda already agreed with the Council in their concern over Anakin's choice to specialize in combat instead of seeking the mysteries of the Force, the mysteries that they believed that the Chosen One would naturally want to pursue. But now his lightsaber was becoming a weapon of offense, and if we're being honest here, revenge against Dooku. Anakin reveled in his new lightsaber, taking better care of it than he ever did his old one. And as Vader, despite his best efforts to make his Sith weapon different from the one he constructed as a Jedi, Vader subconsciously constructed his weapon again, because the design for him was perfect. He had already made a weapon wonderfully geared towards conquest, war, and his personal tastes and applications were applied to it. But anyway, my friends, these were the changes that Anakin's lightsaber went through, and why he ended up becoming obsessed with his second Jedi weapon. What are your thoughts on the progression of Anakin as a character shown through his lightsaber and the design choices that he made when looking at his second blade? Thank you as always for visiting the channel today, my friends, and may the Force be with you.